I like to make videos late. Look, more phone calls. Blink. I'm not here now. Yeah, I am throwing. Is this open still? I am throwing a lot of stuff out, or will be, in the near future. Because I cannot sell it. Like a server rack. Like a server door. Um, they killed the ants. The ants are dead. Killed the ants. It is so hot out here still. We're humid. And it's 1 30 in the morning. That's what we're doing now. Condo land. It's a good shell. Oh, that dulled it out. I've been wet sanding my truck because it has a lot of paint flaws. And it actually wet sanded out. There was this whole area over here that was raised. I did this hours ago, I'm just telling you a story. There's this whole area that was raised. And I color sanded it out. I'm very surprised. I have to do this door next. Cause it, it looks, there's like all this. Over here, it's rough over here. I gotta do it right there. And it's been like that since 2015. And it drove me nuts looking at it when I was out at night. With those bright parking lot lights. So yeah, we gotta get the hood painted, that whole side gets painted. I'm fixing stuff, I'm moving out my life. Cause I'm really done with this place. Is that a roach or a bee? I got some bee. I don't know what that guy's doing at night. But as I was doing that, it was 9.30. There's these people somewhere across who are yelling. They are yelling like the typical old man voice. To, Whatever, I can't imitate it too well right now. That's more like it. Old man voice and some lady, and they're fucking yelling on these um, these balconies over here because this place is horrible. It might as well live in, live in the freaking projects. It's, it's the same. So they're yelling about this political argument. I actually just yelled, Shut up, lady! That's what I'm just going to start doing, I'm just going to start yelling at people around here. So loud and obnoxious. So loud. I ever made a video of this, I fixed this screen. I totally rescreened that myself. I'm like a pro. Still got a little wrinkle over here, but it was wrinkly in the roll. So, it was like that. It's getting a little looser, but I don't care. I like it a little loose, so when you poke at it, it doesn't, um... It doesn't, uh, get poking through. For free. For free, I'll dig it with a used new screen. But like all this shit I gotta throw out, man. Car part stuff I gotta throw out. Just gonna throw out. I'm kinda saving scrap metal. I wasn't gonna throw out all my scrap metal horror, but the Bozomobile has a cracked radiator again. It's not leaking yet though, but that side tank is gonna crack. So that's aluminum. I gotta buy one in General uh, GM or AC Delco. I think they're made in USA still. And around a hundred and like sixty bucks. So maybe like a hundred and seventy with tax, hundred and seventy five with tax. Is what it is. Um bearing splitter is for sale. All these tools over here are for sale. Another scam was the guy wanting to ship ship like most of the shit I have for sale. And he lived in a different part of the state. Like, come on. Why do people even ask me this shit? Why? I don't know. It's all, it's all just dreamers, man. Why can't things just be simple? That's what I'm wondering. Why can't people be simple? Why can't people be more understanding? Why can't people be nicer? And why can't they just be a little more smarter and think? I don't know. I don't know. It seems like everyone wants you to do something, but no one will do anything for you. You know? It's just messed up. I, and I hate, honestly, reaching out to people, too. That's what I have all this crap for. Doubles and triples of everything. I have all this crap, and I still don't have... <laughs> it isn't really even good stuff. Like you said, it's like 1.30 in the morning. I gotta take a shower, go to bed, because I cover in sweat. I take a shower at night. It's because it's pointless. Because you just sweat so much here. It's just so hot. You know, why am I, why am I killing myself here? Why am I killing myself... 
Why am I torturing myself for what? For what reward? What am I getting out of it? Oh, I'm getting nothing out of it. Okay. So it's really just time to move on. Um, like that paint stuff, you know, I just want to use up cans and stuff, you know, use up anything I can and um, just throw it away and not replace it. Not replace it. I'll replace it at another location. That'll be my reward. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out too, or soon. I think this is the last day to pre order it. With the uh, extra deals or something. I don't know. Maybe they'll extend it. I didn't buy it. $59. $59.99. I'm not spending $60 on a game. I'll wait till it's like $29.99. So, yeah. Get a tester generator out, fix this thing. I'm so behind on videos, I don't even know what videos I did and what I didn't, I don't care. But yeah, that's the deal. This, this place is just freaking out of control. And you will leave this place and you will literally get wrecked. This coming out of condo land. People either driving super fast or they're driving super slow. And I just do not care who's behind them. They'll be poking out of condo land. Going eight miles an hour, you'll see you'll see a guy on a golf cart be passing people. Compared to it, I'm just I'm basically done with um, people's behaviors, and I'm done having to live with people's behaviors, and I'm done. You know, it's pro like living in a freaking apartment here. I'm done having to deal with too many personalities just to leave this place, just to get through the gate. You have to deal with. You know, it's overcomplicated. I might have made videos on that too, overcomplicating everything and how it just destroys your life when things are overcomplicated. And that's pretty much what government did to people in this country. They overcomplicated everything. And now that when people want to change it and make it simple again, or they just they fight everything. No, 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 screw them. I'm not going to, because they want to do it. I don't like them. Uh. So, will never happen. Yeah, it's just bad. I don't know where we go from here. I think everything is just done. It's time to, um, it's time to quit. Time to quit. Uh, time to move on. Because I'm done wasting my time. You know, this is just further time that I'm wasting reposting this. I'm adding all this time up. I'm adding the time up. I'm starting to add the money up. I'm adding everything up and, and to only way to, you know, like, you know, I'm adding it up. To see like where is the you know stuff going, where is stuff going? Where you, I mean, adding up where tax money is going. I'm I'm adding up. You know, you pay, or more you work, the more you pay into the system. The more money you make, the more you pay into the system. Except if you own a company or something like a big company, like Amazon, you're paying no taxes. Or other companies, NFL, whatever charities, churches, uh, Latter Day Saints, Mormons. I don't fucking know, but yeah. I just I just mentioned that because people some people live in Utah. And I mean, well, I'm never gonna mention it in my video. They're probably watching my videos, my my two cents about all my uh, beliefs and everything. But I'm not Mormon, by the way. But yeah, I just brought that up because I was talking about it today with Mitt Romney and all that shit, making troll accounts, you know. So yeah, I'm just adding all that up, and you know, I'm pretty much, and you are too. You're paying for these uh, old timers just to come here and wreck the place. You know, you're paying for it. That's what's really freaking messed up, and that's why people are kind of leaning towards the socialist America, and it's so messed up because why? I don't want to pay the. F I don't want to support these people sitting around driving 15 miles an hour in a 30, wrecking into shit, drunk belligerent, just sitting on a, outside over here, <laughs> having a political argument, I don't want to pay for them, I don't want to pay for them, so they can enable, or enabling them to do that, you know, I don't want to do it anymore, you know, why, why am I, why do I have to pay for that, and why do you have to pay for that, uh, I see the end result of what happens when people do not apply themselves and they just basically sit around and turn into a vegetable, you know, getting spoon fed, you know, what if the store closes? What if the store closes here? What if the store closes here? What if the gas gets cut off? What if the electric gets cut off? We are so dependent, but people don't even want to think and see that. Oh, another thing, I watched the, what's another nonsense video? I'm just going to put it up there. I watched the HBO series Chernobyl, right? It was, I don't know, it was okay. It wasn't really that good. I don't have HBO, by the way. I somehow acquired the, uh, the, um, 
Don't tell anyone how I acquired it. <laughs> Maybe you did too. So, I watched that, and obviously, if you've been alive and awake and realize anything, what happened in uh, Fukushima in Japan? Actually, uh, one of my teachers who uh, like was like a tutorial teacher, and I went to special school because I'm uh, screwed up. So, she actually was it. I think she actually used to teach there. She used to teach in Fukushima. But she wasn't there. She left when um, she used to teach English in Japan, and she left like I don't know, maybe like a year or two years before that that plant blew up. More in the surrounding areas, they were very close, so she knew that area well. And um, you know, it's a it's a no man's land now. From a nu from the plant for the like the three or the four, how many nuclear power plants blew up? So basically, after Chernobyl. The backup generator didn't kick in quick enough to like cool the reactor because they were doing that control test in 1986. That's me in 1986. I'm a, I'm Chernobyl, Chernobyl kid. Um, yeah, so many people were, so many children actually were aborted in like Euro in Europe in 1986, which is weird too. Like hundreds of thousands, they were so fearful of them having uh, birth defects from uh, Chernobyl. And we probably got downwinded too in the uh, United States. You know, you don't know. And in the United States, you know, no one ever questioned this, out in the uh, Nevada and everything, uh, Utah, Arizona, and even all in the Midwest, that's what these people come here from the Midwest, I swear that they're like nuclear people, the way they look, they look like mutants, some of them, some of them are pretty cool, but a lot of them are just like mutants, I don't know why, but uh, if you look at the fallout maps in the 1940s and 50s, when they actually, America uh, and our government nuked their own people, all over Utah, Arizona, Nevada, Midwest, and uh, a little bit in the Northeast too, which is uh, not surprising why everyone's dying of cancer now. You know, why Why do we never get any compensation for that though? Why are we paying health insurance when we get sick for something that the U.S. government did to us, you know? Why? why? Was this ever brought up, you know, did anyone, was there any lawsuit? You know, we should all have shit covered for basically free because, you know, they nuked us. But going back to Chernobyl and that uh, Fukushima and everything else what I was saying and that uh, stupid HBO series, yeah, it was okay, I don't know. Um, we are just one power outage away from the whole world blowing up because what will happen, the backup generators to cool those plants or to take the rods out and everything, the control rods and the power of the pumps and the cooling system and whatever. If they run out of diesel fuel or don't start up in time, the plant will overheat. So if we have a huge extended power outage, those plants are going to, you know, and that diesel truck can't get there to supply them diesel to run the backup generator, or the diesel generators break down and the grid goes down. Basically the whole world will implode on itself. You'll just have nuclear reactors going, pfft, getting hot, blowing up. You know, it's kind of like me, I, I joke about it and how I will basically blow up too when it's really, really hot and you don't have air conditioning and electric. Same thing, same thing like living here. But think about that though, if you want to stay up at night going, oh shit. Or you can just say, I'm wrong and I don't know what I'm talking about and be ignorant. But you know, you obviously see how it, things work, you know, it's stupid. It's man-made stuff, man-made stuff fails. The earth naturally tries to reclaim everything that was done to it, you know. Put down concrete, gonna have a weed going up to it or a tree. It's always trying to reclaim itself. Kind of like what they did in this area, they paved over everything, and I bet there's gonna be crazy floods here now because there is hardly any room for the runoff when we get these monsoon rains. They are paving over everything. Everything that was a cow farm around here with cows on it in a field. It turned into a condo, turned into assisted living, turned into another car dealer. This is what you need, another a bigger car dealer. You already had a car dealer. No, now we have a bigger one, another location. So, it is bad. And uh, they're letting it happen, and they're destroying the world. And people think that cars, and what else? I don't know, cows, cars, cows, what else they want to ban? Airplanes. Airplanes are a pain in the ass though, the pollution that I have air about 
I would say at least 50 and 60 airplanes fly right over here a day from the airport right over here and the black soot that is accumulating on my truck unbelievable never had it I even have I get sick from it outside you just smell jet fuel it's disgusting jet exhaust I, I, I want to complain about it to someone I don't know who it is they send the plane that way or that way stop sending it right over here you know too many people live around here more people live that way that way highly populated little box over here but they keep sending planes over it or it can just move and give up on it and I'll die of disease someplace else from uh, from the airplane exhaust but yeah they want to ban all that stuff though and then these ignorant people think nuclear power and everything is super clean and green and it's just it's, it's so ignorant it's so ignorant that that can literally blow up one extended power outage that's so all it will take for all those plants in the world to blow up and the whole world would be unhabitable you'd be dying of cancer your skin would be melting off if you're really close to it or uh, you know horrible 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 for what electricity killing yourself for this not worth it so that's that think about stuff instead of uh paying someone to would think about it for you. That's like going to school. You're paying someone to think for you, right? And then they write their own test and you're supposed to be just like them and answer the test questions the same way. Isn't that what like education is? I don't know. I'm anti-education. Street education. Because again, um, education system has failed me. That's another story or a book to write. I say I write a book. Maybe I can make some money or something. Um, how the education system has failed in America. And um, I can go into great detail of how it is. And it's everywhere. Same shit they try to pull on me. It goes on all over. And you have these ignorant people who believe the school. They say their kid is wrong. And they put them on uh, unneeded medication that they don't even need. They try to do it on me. Oh, you're ADD. I'm not ADD. ADHD. That's a bunch of bullshit. That, no one's ADD or ADHD. It's bullshit. That's made up. Made up. The school system is flawed the way they're trying to teach people. So, that is the deal with that. And uh, another nonsense video. Hot garage late at night. I'll upload this one too. Why not? Back to back. Long videos. Anyone want that bearing splitter right there? Yeah. Need some more oil. I thought the... I might have said this. So I'll clear it up. The LT1 oil filters do not fit the LS engine. All the time. I was like, oh yeah, I can always use one of those filters. On, you can't. The Bosomobile, big hole, small filter. I, LT1, small hole, longer filter. I could have swore they were the same filter for years or not. That says 13 16 and LT1 says 18 on it, on that top. So they don't have to change. Because I was kind of running out of oil filters and then I found six more. I was like, oh yeah, I can always use the filter for that a little bit longer. And then I looked at it. No. Alright, over. We gotta throw everything out. Throw everything.